Hi, uh, we had a little technology glitch, so we're going to back to um, Artville outside, inside, outside, and we were making a sketchbook out of a grocery bag. And as um, I was telling you before we were interrupted, sometimes you have to cut these little box parts off the bag. Don't know exactly there. And now I'm going to cut this part. That's a part of the bag I don't want. Now I'm going to open it up. And all this part down here, I don't want that either. So I'm going to just cut that off. Okay. Now I have pages for my sketchbook. I'm going to turn this so they're both facing the same way. Plain, plain, like that. And now, if you want to, you could cut them in half again, and you'll end up with a book like this, a pages like this, and you can use a stapler to staple them together, like that, like that, okay? But we're gonna make a cover first. Or if you wanna make a folding book, you leave them like this, and you're gonna fold it like that, and you can have to, then you have to sew it together, which is kind of fun. If you have a hole punch, put it in as far as it will go. Punch a hole there. Punch a hole. Gotta line them up. Punch a hole down there. If you don't have a hole punch, you can use a pencil and you poke your holes right on that fold. You poke them like that. Okay, so now I've got some holes there, but I need a cover for my sketchbook for that. Cereal box, which I've cut up so it opens like that. And I have to trace the shape of it. Well, I can just, I can draw it. I can use my crayon to draw the book. This is for artists who are part artist, part engineer. You have to engineer these things together. So I'm going to cut my cereal box. Okay. Now I have a really good cover for my sketchbook. You can have the cereal part showing as you're outside, or you can do it like this, and then you can decorate this. Now, if your pages are like these, these smaller pages, you would put them inside the book, cover like this, and you can staple them together like that. Or if you're sewing your book with the double pages, you put your double pages inside. And then this is a little bit tricky. You've got to make a mark wherever you've got your holes. Like that, like that, like that, like that. And you have to make a mark. Yeah, I can't quite show. You have to poke a hole in your in your cardboard. Like that, like that. up your pages and then you've got to find a sewing string maybe you've got thread maybe you've got string and you're just going to string it all together you're going to sew it up okay Take it through through how we do it poke it through now it might take you a while to do this I'm trying to do it in kind of a hurry for the video camera okay. if I had the kind of a thing where I'd make it go really fast really fast forward I would do that so through So the 
last one, poke it through. Now, I only have a few pages because that's all I did today. And then you have these, the string. You can tie your string like this. You can even put beads on it if you want to. If you want to make it fancy, you can make it fancy. So there I have my drawing book, like that. My cover. And the fun thing is you can decorate your cover. You can call it my outdoor drawing book and I put put your name on it I would say now you can call it different things maybe you're going to use your book maybe you know maybe your teacher has asked you to use your book for science maybe you're going to go outside and draw certain things maybe you're going to look for bugs maybe you're going to look for animals Maybe you're going to look for leaves, the first flower that you see, the first worm that you see, and you can draw all those things inside your drawing book. And I hope you'll take a picture of it and put it on your seesaw so everybody can see your drawing book. Okay? See you later. Bye-bye.